screen for a tray wheel on a spinnerbait. Ooh. Is that lily pad? It's a pretty big one. You know, I felt the tap. I let it drop. The bass. Okay. <laughs> they just keep coming. So I me. feed it through the two black and yellow halves. Hey guys, I just caught this about probably a foot and a half long, maybe. It's a black tip shark on a uh, big six inch live mullet. In the Strike King Bitsy Boo Jig with the net bait pack a trunk trailer. Alright, hey guys, welcome to this episode of Southbound Fishing. Uh, today I'm going to go over some winter baits that I like to use. And uh, these just don't have to be for winter if you're fishing in a cold water area, which is uh, has a lot of cold water, you know, past the winter time. You can use these baits as well, or, you know, you can use them in summer. Doesn't really matter. These are just the baits that I really love to use during the cold water times. And the tech, I'll uh, let you know about the techniques that I like to use them with. So I'll, I'll start out with the plastics. This is a staple of cold water bass fishing. Just the normal wizard with the four curl tails and the long ribbon tail. Uh, this is a yum wizard. It's uh, in the red bug color. It looks nice. It's a little bit stiff for me. This lizard, it's a pretty stiff lizard. I like a more soft, more body that has more action. But uh, what I like to do with these is I'll put a bullet weight right on the nose and I'll just cover water with this bait. I'll cast it out. Um, I'll burn it. Not burn it, but I'll, you know, a moderate speed, moderate uh, retrieval rate, and I'll throw it parallel to shorelines, parallel to structure. Also, I will uh, flip this bait with a bullet weight as well. Flip it into cover. That's where a lot of big bass will be waiting when it gets nice and cold, is deep cover. So there's one bait. Next bait is a small tube. I like to call these finesse tubes. Uh, I don't fish these a lot, but a lot of anglers do in the northern areas. But I'm in Georgia, so I don't use these a lot. But I do use these for sight casting. Uh, I'll, I'll throw this to bass that are really shallow in the winter months because during the daytime a lot of those bass will go up shallow. A lot of anglers think that bass just always go deep during the winter. Well that's not always necessarily true. Uh, I'll find a lot of bass right as I walk up on a lake or um, boat up to a fishing spot that the bass will spook from very shallow areas. So I'll throw this guy in on a shaky head or even weightless sometimes in really shallow. and. Uh, I'll pick up some of those fish in the shallows. Also, I'll throw some craws sometimes. This is a big boy bait summer craw right here. And uh, I'll throw them in red, purple, blacks, you know, the, the more natural kind of colors. I'll just throw this normally just Texas rigged with a, maybe a Carolina rig or just a bullet weight. Maybe rig it behind a jig head. Uh, this is a big boy bait jerk stick. I like to use Senko's jerk sticks all kinds of stick baits during the winter a lot. I wacky rig them with a bullet weight. You guys have to try it. Uh, you can also use a flick shake jig head. Uh, those works just the same or just a normal shaky head but I just I find it easy just to rig it with a smaller size bullet weight. It gets the same action or I'll just Texas rig it and jerk it through the deeper deeper sections of uh, water on the lakes that I fish. Um, Big boy bait swampy over right here. This is just an example of a finesse worm. I'll drop shot these sometimes. Wacky rig them. Really good action on these guys. Also, I'll Texas rig them. I normally don't fish them very much with a bullet weight in front because it just takes away from the action. Good looking bait right there. Here's a big black ribbon tail worm. These guys always catch me fish. Carolina rigging. Just covering water. Just the basic techniques. Always pick up a couple fish with a Carolina uh, rigged big ribbon tail worm. This big, this, it's a strange kind of ribbon tail right here. It moves a lot of water though and it looks really nice in the water as well. This is a Yamamoto Grub trailer, twin tail. I'll rig this up on jigs or I'll take a small shaky head, put this guy up on there and uh, throw him, throw him in the shallow areas or rig him up on a jig head and throw him deep. Um, this is the Big Boy Baits AP Shad. I fish big swim baits sometimes in the winter. I really slow roll them. Uh, but the thing that I like about big swim baits, and especially this AP Shad right here, is it'll fall nose down. And it'll just flutter down to the bottom, pick it up, swim it off, flutter down to the bottom, pick it up, swim it off. It looks very realistic and it has good tail movement on that bait. 
Uh, right here is a Big Boy Baits Nest Raider. I rigged this guy up on a finesse kind of swim jig type head. Uh, I snipped the head off so that he would uh, rig up on there. Well, I'll throw these baits, I'll flip them in the shallows, just a straight tail, small drop shot finesse bait, and um, flip them into cover, flip them into shallows, pick up some fish there. Uh, one of the more hard baits, pre-rigged baits, uh, here I got a big boy baits finesse jig. I know I'm going through a lot of big boy baits, but it's just what I use. I have a lot of them laying around and I use them on a regular basis. I gave this jig a finesse cut, purple and white, and um, a jig is one of the most useful baits in winter fishing just because the bass don't move as much, has a bigger profile, and it can really go through some of the cover that you need to get to to get to cold water fish. Um, a lot of times with this jig I make distance casts. I'll cast it a long, long way, um, either parallel to the shoreline or just over a bunch of cover that I see or know of. And then I'll just slowly work it back. I'll use braid with a mono leader for that because I need that, that low stretch rate to feel the, the ticks of the, the bait hit, hitting the bottom and also the, when the bass picks it up. Um, small jerk baits are another good tool for winter anglers to use. Now this is a Rapala X-Wrap in an olive green color. I really like this bait. It suspends, it rattles, and it, ha it doesn't it has a flashy profile, but it's not too big of a profile. And uh, I'll definitely be throwing this guy in the medium depths, trying to pick up susp suspended fish. It's a good bait. Small baits like this also can be very effective during the winter. Uh, you can just jig them up and down vertical jig or casting jig on light tackle pick up some weight schooling fish here's a, a big heavy ounce jig that I use it's a more natural craw color I put that same Yamamoto trailer on it and this is one of those jigs that I won't throw directly into cover it doesn't have the best weed guard but I will throw this a long way since it's an ounce and I'll just find the bottom I'll pick it up off the bottom and I'll just swim it three to four inches above the bottom and it really draws some reaction strikes sometimes. Here's a brush hog. This is a winter staple. Um, I, I like to use the bigger the bigger model for winter, smaller water model for summer. This is not the most effective color. I normally like a watermelon or a pumpkin, but this works as well. You could Texas rig this guy with on a Carolina rig, cover some water, or you can flip him into some cover and uh, maybe get a good bite out of that. Rattle trap can't go wrong with a rattle trap during the colder months. It's a reaction style bait, but it can be fished slow as well. Fish it on the top, near the surface of the water column, fish it medium, fish it bottom. Um, it's really a true reaction bait, and they cast a mile. So this is in a red craw color. I'll fish a lot of craws, crayfish imitations such as jigs, you know, actual crays, tubes. I'll fish a lot of those during the um, the winter because I just feel like that's some of the most effective baits. As you can see, I'm not fishing a lot of frogs, not fishing, I mean I have, I fish the lizards every once in a while during the winter, but mainly I'm fishing bait fish and craw imitations during the winter. And uh, those are the basics on what baits to use when you're winter fishing or cold water fishing for bass. Now, and these are tried and true on southern bass, but um not speaking for anywhere else so uh, try them out if it's not a tactic that you used before you can go for it and if it doesn't work it doesn't work but I definitely think like you should always try uh, new tactics and see if it picks up any fish for you uh, thanks for watching make sure to comment rate and subscribe